Donna from Many Aprons, and today we're going to work on a project, um, Maj Paj project. So let's get started. I'll bring you in a little closer, okay? Just a second. Okay, so I'm going to bring you closer to my working, where I'm working, so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I thank you for joining me today. We're just, it's a lazy day, snow, rain. So we're gonna work in my craft room today. So let's get started. Okay. So I had a whole mess of glue left over and I emptied it all in my Maj Paj container. Yeah, what can you say? And I added some water to each of these bottles to get some more glue. And we're gonna take these white bottles that I had painted a couple years ago and I never did anything with them. In fact, there's something in there. Oh, I don't know what that is. We'll look at it later. But they're milk jugs. They were clear. And I painted them white thinking I was gonna do something with them, but I never got to them. So I saw them in my cupboard and said, let's do something with them today. So we're gonna work on Maj Paj. So what we need is glue. And you know how expensive this is, so crazy to use this, but we're gonna use it. And this is two ply. You probably want the one ply, which now that I think about it, I do have one ply up there. Ah, but anyway, well, uh, what you wanna do is just take a few squares and, you know, cut them, take them off. Get yourself a paintbrush, an old paintbrush that you, doesn't matter what kind of paintbrush. I have two here in case the other one gets too soggy with glue. But, oh, and you need a paper towel. Which, I thought I had paper towels right here, but that's okay. And I see I'm missing a, a, a thing of water. So, all right. I mean, I have water in here. But to, Put your brushes in. Okay, so I, I've saved these little containers that my doggies' food came in. And they're good. Save them. <laughs> uh, and I'll just add some of this water glue in here. I'll just add all of that because there wasn't much in it. And I'll just take a tad bit more of the regular. I'll use my brush to get it out of the glue. Really don't need a lot of glue. Oh, just one more scoop. Because these bottles had enough glue in them. Might. We just want it a little bit thicker. Not too thin. Not too thick. That's good. Feels good. Just enough that we could wet our tissue. And what we do is we just take our bottle and put some glue on there. Take our tissue, which it's going to separate because it's two ply, and just dab it on there. And I like to separate it a little bit with the two with the paintbrush just to give it texture. Yeah, you can rip this off and put it on. Just like so. Mix it around a little bit like this so it gets all kind of bumpy. You can take your finger and do it too. Get it down there. See how the two ply wants to separate it, but that's okay. Maybe I'll separate them. Really want one ply.
It gives you a nice texture look if you take your brush and just shove it down with the glue on it because you don't want those lines in there. Push the brush like this. Put it on there. Gives it a nice texture look. And of course we're going to have to wait and let this dry before we can paint it, but I think that's going to be nice. So you know what? I think I will separate this toilet paper, even though I got that on there already. Yeah, that is easier said than done, huh? Yeah, guess we won't bother. But you can take this and lay it in here and do it this way too. I think that just takes too long. You know, this way you can, whatever way you want to do it. And I just think this, this way takes too long. You got to rip it. And, Run that right in. Fit this in. No, I didn't. It in. seems to not be taking any. I'll show you a couple of projects I did with this mod podging. I did this one. This is all the toilet paper and uh, glue. I let it dry and then I painted it. And then I, before I did the Maj Paj, I had painted this uh, um, a coral color. This was a pink vase. And I painted it a coral color and I spritzed some of the cream color into it to give it a little bit of highlight and then I did the Maj Paj and then I painted that with the coral and uh, some white in there. I don't know if you can see it with the light. What? And then I took the, the green and uh, a vine I had and I, I glued that on there to give it some design. And on here, I did the green with some copper. I did do copper in here too. I don't know if you can even see it because of this light, but I did do copper up in here. But that's one. I have another one, which is upstairs. Ouch. This is another one I did which we will do a class on this. This one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this one. Um, this was with paper towels. This is all paper towel. And on here is the toilet paper. And of course I had some leaves that I hot glued to it. Yep. And I painted this uh, metallic copper and metallic gold. 
and then of course I sprayed both the anything I do I spray with uh, a gloss finish a clear gloss finish glaze So that's my projects that we'll get to and we'll do. Hey, like I say, I'm many aprons and I've got a lot of talent. <laughs> so anyway, we've got this. So we're going to go, we're going to do similar to that. We're going to just do a little bit of zigzag in here. And then we might take um, our jute string and follow it around and put some design on that. So let's get one step at a time. So this, we have this and we're going to just keep on going, get some of this on. And because uh, this takes a day to dry completely. I know I get very impatient. I'm ready to paint. That's why I have two bottles. I should have gotten one done sooner, but this is one of those things I just like, you know what, I feel like doing some artwork today. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Just see how long I don't want this. I don't want to take up too much of this video. I'm just doing this. So I might pause you and get this done going and see what we're we'll do next. Yeah, the best um, paint to use to paint like glass or plastic is the 2X or the Crayola. Crayola, I think it's called. Crayon. Crayola. Or is that, that's, that's, I don't know. I'll get the, I'll get it. It's down here. With all my other stuff. But we'll get around. See, we're, at, we're not taking too long. If you cut, if you rip it all up, that takes the longer of it to do. This way you could just dab it in there. And like I said, you don't need very much glue. I had these three bottles that were, I emptied them into my Maj Paj. You know, glue is glue. There are some glues that are different than others, but Elmer's glue and Maj Paj are pretty much the same. They try to make it like it's... A big deal because it's Maj Paj but I've been doing glue things for a long time now <laughs> I'll have to we'll do a I have a uh, Christmas trees these trees I use with doing Jude uh, string and there is a difference on the glue to use for that because I've tried it with, I've done two different ones. I tried it with cornstarch and soak it in cornstarch and water. I've tried it with uh, Elmer's glue. And then I've tried it with wood glue. And the one wood glue really got it nice and stiff and and it stood up by itself. I didn't need something to, like a wine bottle, to hold it up. Like the first one I did, and I'll have to show it to you. But this is almost relaxing to me. It is relaxing to me. I don't know why I say that for almost, but it is relaxing. I like creating things. I like the end results more quicker. <laughs> That's the way I am with my paintings. I, oh, I can't wait to get them done. I want to get them done. And I know I have to be patient and let them dry. And Yeah, just tap it up in there a little bit, give it some different um, texture, get it so it's not so 
in these lines. Yeah, see, that didn't take long. And we'll just throw this one on. Yeah. Oops. Try that again. You see, just get it on there. blend that right in with that other one to, so you can't see the beginning and the end of those tissues. Okay. Oh, maybe we got too much light going on in here. Gives it a nice texture. I'm going to pause you for a minute. Okay, I moved you over to this way so the light, you have some more shade and see your, the project better, maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, I think, I think I want to do the jude like a design on it. I'm going to need um, my hot glue gun to do the jude. So I'm trying to figure out how I'd, I'd like to do it. Coming up like this. Zigzag. And then go around. But you know what? I could just go all the way up with this and then do a design with the... So I guess we'll just continue putting up putting on a little um, more paper. Now the reason I put a little bit more glue on the bottle itself is because I'm trying to blend these two together without seeing that I'm blending them together. So I put a little glue on there just to get that to blend in better. And I'm just going to shove it out there to it. Oops. Try that again. Get in there. Just shove that right up in there. Don't want it too uniform like, but I see there's a hole. Where would that hole go? Oh, I don't know. Now, when this all dries, what you want to do is, um, well, I won't get to that step. I'll tell you when we get there. 
what we're going to do next after it dries. I'll have to have a part two on it because I don't want this to be too long of a video watching this, but I'll have to shut this off and get a part two. <gasps> You'll have to look for it. <laughs> and you know what I might do? I might end up, instead of doing that, I might do the whole bottle in this. I think I kind of like it. Gives it a nice look. You know? I think it gives it a nice look. I think I might do the whole bottle. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> All right, let me get it up there and I'll show it to you. Okay, well, we got this far. I've decided to do it somewhat naturally. I don't know. I don't know if you can even see it. This light and all that in the way. I put a little on top, but it's really going to have to dry. And with the top, what I did was I just took the piece of paper and stuck it in the, the glue and just let it attach to it like that. Oops. <laughs> attach to it and rip it off. And then I took my paintbrush with the glue on it and Pushed it up in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make that a little thicker once this all dries. I'm gonna make it a bigger lip on it. Make it wider. Come out a little bit wider. I do have clay. I think that'd be way too heavy. This feels heavy already, just with that weight on it. I'm going to try and blow dry it with the blow dryer. What do you think? Should I go all the way up? I don't know. It's a nice texture. I really like the texture. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. I like it the way it is. Now I want to show you something. There's look. See where there's a line right there? What I want you to do is you take your glue, put it on there, pretty heavy like this glue, and just try to merge it. Get that line out. Yeah. It'll merge in there. Let me get those lines out on where the ends of the paper is. I would go around it and look. Oops. So this is soft and wet. <laughs> soft and wet. Might take a couple of days to dry. Yep, but it's a project. So I got another bottle that I'm gonna work on and uh, we'll make it a match pair. And I'll, this is gonna be part one. I'll get this one done like this. In part two, we're gonna do our painting. Okay? So, <laughs> it's so much fun. It just takes forever to, when it comes to artwork or 
anything like that, you got to wait for it to dry and <laughs> but you know what? We have so many things I could show you that I've done that we're going to work on. If you like to do projects, I have a lot of summer projects that I'm working on with uh, popsicle sticks. I know it sounds like kid stuff, but it isn't. It's so much fun. So I'll get um, my next video will be on that. Well, after I do finish these two. That'll be my second video on here. This is part one. And uh, part two will be when we paint them. Okay. And if I decide to put the jute on it, I don't know. We'll see. Because the jute is up to date now and it's more hip. Um, and I know my daughter would like it as a gift for her. So <laughs> it's just so much fun. It's relaxing when you can create something and, uh, you know, it's just fun, especially it's in the winter time, summertime. Blah, I don't really want to be in here. I'm going to be outside doing garden, gardening and planning the garden. Yep. Alrighty. Well, God bless you. Enjoy your day. And I hope you learned something. Leave me a comment in the bot and on the bottom and join hit that bell you'll get the next video on this and share if you think it's interesting leave me a comment tell me what you like and what you don't like but be nice i'm here to learn just like you're learning so god bless take care <laughs>